Hello children and welcome to this week's Sunday Club. Where is baby Moses? Moses, Moses, where is baby Moses? On the river Nile. He's floating in a basket, a basket, a basket. He's floating in a basket on the river Nile. The princess, she is swimming, swimming, swimming. The princess, she is swimming on the river Nile. She finds the baby Moses, Moses, Moses. She finds the baby Moses on the river Nile. She takes him to the palace, the palace, the palace. She takes him to the palace on the river Nile. The baby Moses grows up, grows up, grows up. The baby Moses grows up on the river Nile. He saves the Jewish people, people, people. He saves the Jewish people on the river Nile. Hello children, welcome to Sunday Club. In the last few weeks we've been talking about Joseph. A long time after Joseph had died, new pharaohs have come and this time now, a lot of people have forgotten about Joseph. They had forgotten all the good deeds Joseph did because everybody that was alive at the time when Joseph was alive were either dead or very old and not People didn't remember much about him anymore. This particular Pharaoh, he hated the Israelites. He hated them so much because they made them slaves and they worked them really hard, but they were still growing, growing stronger as a people every day. This infuriated the Pharaoh so much. He now said, look, as soon as any Israelite woman has a baby boy, kill the baby boy, kill it straight away. The baby boy must not survive. Therefore, maybe they won't have any, so many people in their midst. But the Egyptian midwives were, were scared of, they like, it's hard, how can we kill a baby? They can't. It's, so a lot of babies were kept alive. And this was going on and then Pharaoh discovered that a lot of baby boys were growing and they were not being killed. So he even got more angry. So he got all the soldiers and said, Soldiers, 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 come on. I've, I've given you an order and you mustn't fail me. The order is that you collect all the Israelite baby boys between the ages of zero months and two years old. I want you to drown them in the Nile, throw them in the river, kill all of them. He was horrible. He was a nasty pharaoh. And the Egyptian soldiers actually went and took as many baby boys as they could. They threw them in the Nile. They kicked them. They plunged them. Oh, it was ugly. It was horrible. Oh, people's hearts were broken. There was a lot of weeping and crying in the, in the land of Egypt. All the Israelites living in Goshen cried, wept. They were filled with sorrow. Oh, there was a woman, Jacobite, and her family. She already had two children, Aaron and Marion. And during while all this killing was going on, she was expecting another baby. This time she was really worried because she knew that once her baby was born, 
Vero would have it killed if it was a boy. Nevertheless, her baby was born. And she saw that this baby was so beautiful. It was the cutest ever baby. It was a boy. Oh my goodness, what's gonna happen? <clears throat> Jacobite was so brave. She wrapped the baby up in swathing clothes and hid her baby. She hid him for months until the baby was too big to be hidden. She was like, God, what do I do? What am I going to do? My baby, I don't want my baby killed. Oh, my baby. So she decided that, okay, I know. She made a raft out of reeds and lined the raft with tar so it became waterproof. And then she placed the baby wrapped in swathing clothes into the raft. And then she said to Mariam, I want you to keep an eye on this raft. I'm going to put it in the Nile because I can't look after this baby anymore. Perhaps the Nile River will carry him away to somewhere safe. Somebody might find him. So Jacobite prayed really hard, said, God, protect my baby. Mariam followed her baby brother and was watching as the baby was drifting along in the Nile. She followed and kept an eye on the raft going away. Then suddenly she had movement, so she hid behind the big tall reeds. And there was Pharaoh's daughter and her maids were at the river. They've come to have a bath as she normally does regularly. As she was bathing in the Nile River, she had some stirring and a, some sound. And she went to investigate and she saw this raft flowing, floating. She went and pulled it to herself. Oh, it's a baby, she said. Oh, look, it's a baby. And she took the baby out and brought it to the side of the river and she unwrapped it. It was a baby boy. She said, oh no, it must be one of the Israelite babies that have been thrown in the Nile. Oh, you know what? I've been praying to God for a baby and the Nile has given me a baby. Oh, God is good. She was so happy. Just as Marion saw that Pharaoh's daughter was really happy, she quickly ran towards her and said, oh, hello. Do you, do you want me to get somebody to help you nurse that baby? Yeah, mm, that's true. Yes, 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 please. Yeah, help me, can you find, do you know anyone who could help me nurse the baby? Because I really can't nurse it. So the Mariam said, yes, surely I do. I'll go and get one of these Hebrew women, the Israelite women, to come and help you nurse the baby. So Mariam ran quickly as fast as her legs could carry her. She ran all the way home. Mom, mom, come, 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 quick. The, 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 the princess has got the, our baby. So, <coughs> Jacobi went with Mariam to meet the princess. And the princess said, look, take this baby, look after him for me, nurse him, and keep, keep looking after him till he's old enough to come and live with me. And Jacob I said yes, and he said, oh, and by the way, I'll pay you to do this job, okay? So it's not for free, make sure you do a good job. She didn't know that the woman she was giving the baby to was actually the baby's mother. And he said to the uh, Jacob, and uh, by the way, I'm calling him Moses because I drew him out of the water, okay? So Jacob I said, yes, no problem. I'll look after your baby for you if uh, that's all you want. And that's how Moses went back and was looked after by Jacob, his mother, until he was old enough to be returned to the princess. And that day, when he got old enough, the princess took Moses to the palace. Now, children, that's another story because Moses had wonderful adventures at the palace. I'll tell you all about it next week.
Hi children, we've been learning about noses today and I just want us to take a little bit of time to think that from when Moses was a tiny baby, God was watching over him, even when he was placed in the river, in the basket, God was still looking after him. And this week, some of you are probably going back to school. So we're going to pray that God will watch after you and look after you as you return to school, either this week or next week. So let's put our hands together. Dear Lord, we just thank you that you are a good God who goes before us, who will be at the school with us, who will be looking after us. I thank you that we can go back to school and we'll be able to see some of our friends and we'll be able to have fun. Lord, we know that things might be a bit different, but we know that you have gone ahead of us into the school and that you will be there with us, looking after us and making sure that we're safe. Lord, I thank you for your promise. We've seen a lot of rainbows this week and it reminds us of your promise again, that you will always be with us. I thank you and I pray for the children as they go to school this week. In your name, Amen. May God protect you and keep you safe. Enjoy your school. God bless you. Bye.